color grading is an essential skill for every digital imaging expert. OM Workspace offers various specialized tools to create a unique look which will make your photographs truly yours and yours alone. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. Color grading is the process of creating a unique color scheme for a set of images to lend them a special unifying look. Color grading has nothing to do with color correction, which is about removing unwanted tints and color casts from a photograph. Two guidelines before we get started. Number one, always perform color correction first and color grading second. Number two, color grading should always be done with a reference photograph as a basis. This photograph should be representative of the set of images as a whole. The picture modes determine the basic color and tonal response. Choosing a picture mode is therefore the most crucial decision when it comes to setting a look as it lays the foundation for all subsequent adjustments. The picture mode settings are found in the basic tab. My most used picture mode is definitely the natural picture mode. Just look at the beautiful rendering of the skin tones. If I want to perform complex adjustments in a dedicated photo editor after the raw conversion in OM Workspace, I often pick the picture mode muted. It provides the perfect neutral starting point with very nuanced tonal values. A quick remark before we move on. If you like the rendering that a certain picture mode provides, you really do not have to add a lot of adjustments on top of it. You can utilize it as a sort of one-click preset. Art filters are more or less ready-made looks. You can find them in the Effect tab. Some of them can be used for professional work, while others are too gimmicky for that. Be that as it may, it is important to note that certain art filters apply effects on top of the color and tonal adjustments. On my website you will find an overview, link in the description below. For this photograph, a gritty black and white look could be just the perfect match. Let's select Grainy Film 2. As you can see, Grainy Film 2 did not only apply this high contrast black and white look, but also added film grain to the photograph. This film grain effect is not optional. It is always on when picking Grainy Film 2. Most art filters offer additional effects which can be applied as well. For color grading those effects are mostly irrelevant. Our Grainy Film 2 art filter, however, has relevant effects. Let's take a look. I'd like to bring your attention to the picture tone and black and white filter setting. The black and white filter setting can be used to emulate the effect of an in front of the lens filter in classic black and white photography. A red filter is perfect for this scene. The picture tone setting allows to emulate the effects of darkroom toning. So for this photograph I'd say a greenish tint would be very suitable. Let's click apply and I'd say that's a pretty gritty result. Art filters are also available in camera, but when set in camera, the natural picture mode is always used as a basis. In OM Workspace, however, a different picture mode can be set, which opens a lot of creative possibilities. Let me give you an example. I will now set this photograph to Bleach Bypass 1, which will give us this very extreme Bleach Bypass mode. Now let's go to the Basic tab and set Monotone as a basis for this art filter. And the result is this very clean, high contrast, black and white look. So you can really combine art filters and picture modes in many creative ways to get interesting results with only a few clicks. 
The color filter tool applies a global color overlay. It is to be found in the detail tab. Just pick one of the available options with maintain luminance activated. For this photograph, a warm overlay would be a good match in my opinion. I pick the orange filter and I set a level of 50. My general recommendation is to keep the level at 50 or lower so that the effect is not too drastic. For this photograph, I think 50 is still too much, so let's reduce this to 30. Here is a before and after. This is the photograph without the orange filter applied, and this is the photograph with the orange filter applied. The raw tone curve in OM Workspace is in many ways the ultimate tool to manipulate image data. It is very powerful. For color grading, it offers a myriad of possibilities. The Tone Curve tool is located in the Basic tab. In order to change the color response of the given photograph, the red, green and blue channels have to be adjusted separately. For this demonstration, I will show you how to create a classic teal and orange look. But before we adjust the Tone Curve, I will show you a little trick. By switching the picture mode to monotone, all the adjustments that we will make in the Tone Curve tool will be visible in our preview on the left. Okay, let's get started with the red channel. First, I will add a control point in the middle of the red channel. Then, I will decrease the reds in the shadows. In the highlights, we need more reds, so an additional control point there and let's bring up those reds. Due to the nature of how RGB mixing works, we now have to adjust the blue channel to get the desired teal and orange look. Just like when editing the red channel, I will start with a control point in the middle. In order to get the teal color in the shadows, I will add some blue by bringing up the lower half of the blue curve. This looks very promising already, but we are still lacking the signature orange hue of our teal and orange look. To fix this, let's decrease the blues in the highlights. And I'd say this is already a very pleasing split toning effect. We've got the teal look in the shadows and the orange in the highlights. To examine the result of our color grading, we just have to switch the picture mode back to natural. And this is the teal and orange look we've just created. A quick before and after. This look can now easily be applied to other photographs by copying the editing parameters or saving a batch processing file. Mastering color grading means taking full creative control. However, it is absolutely imperative to work with a neutral starting point. So setting the correct exposure, removing any color tints and setting the correct white balance is absolutely necessary. If you want to learn how to do that in a professional and efficient manner, navigate to my channel and refer to the OM Workspace playlist. There are many masterclasses available for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.